say about Pride, to answer some questions. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Go for yeah it. like plug your Instagram yeah, or whatever yeah. handle you have. What uh, pronouns you go by? Say them. Say them, yeah. What did you enjoy most about Pride today? Just everyone being together, really. Just yeah. everyone out and about, having, uh, having fun. Nice. Is there like a particular club or anything you went to today or that no. you enjoyed? I think there was a lot of drinkers today as well. Yeah, a lot of yeah. people had fun, uh, especially yeah. like, this is like a mosh pit right now in the in the street, wasn't it? God, yeah. So, um, what, have you been to Pride before or? Uh, yeah, yeah, a few times. I find it like quite a lot for me. Uh, sometimes I can be quite like loud, so I don't like to stick around for too long. But nice. I always, always love the people. Like, the people are the best part about it. Awesome, yeah. awesome. So, uh, is that London Pride you've been to before? Uh, or have you been to around? Pride as well. Oh. So I'm from the north, so I used to go up to Manchester. Oh, nice, same. Is, uh, it's like the safest night I've ever been on, yeah. kind of thing. The like, safest. It's just the safest night oh, I've ever surprising. been on. Like, that is, is it? for me. Like, I don't know, in Manchester as well. Yeah. Like, I think it's just because it's like. Obviously, just really just that one street mainly. So, what do you want to see next, Pride, next year? Oh God! Well, if, if there's one thing, one topic, one uh, one store, or something that would interest you the most. Uh, I don't know. I guess I guess there's a number I would prefer to see more representation of that. More unisex clothing, yeah, or more, more unisex yeah. clothing. I mean, all of that in general, like more unisex clothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Totally, yeah. Uh, I think that'll be all. Thanks for oh, thanks for that. Thanks so much, Cheers. Let's be part of a stream interview today, Miss. No problem, it's just a straight interview, we plug your Instagram and everything with here, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, um, what are your names by the way? I mean, your pronouns or what do you go by? I'm Maddie. Yeah? Maddie Shee? Alex Shee. Yeah. Will. Yeah. Nice. What, what do you feel like uh, was the best like aspect of the day, uh, whether it was in Soho or Park? Like everybody being here for fun, yeah. like not being afraid to just walk out with a bit of a rainbow in the game of like <laughs> the dress not shame, I had some looks but like but not the worry of like yeah. Ooh, people are gonna look at me funny yeah yeah definitely a good outfit contest sort of going on what would you think if you had to like if you were gonna bring something into next pride like an aspect yeah, just a little bit more of like a, a plan for london pride i yeah. feel like it's a little yeah. bit weird. i think the same yeah, yeah i feel like, the same yeah, way like yeah the other, plan, uh, other prides are a little bit more planned than london pride yeah. like, again it's free but yeah. i still feel like there should be more of a little bit no, I agree. A little bit yeah. of schedule. Yeah. I feel like the plan for most of the time is just to get drunk for most yeah. people. <laughs> I think because yeah. London's so big, it's all so spread out, which is good because there's so many people coming. But yeah. it's a bit daunting if you don't know where you're going. Don't know where you're going. Yeah. I think if you're on your own, you'd be a bit lost. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you think is the biggest problem that the LGBTQ face in modern day? The most embarrassment. The embarrassment. Yeah. My friend got assaulted the other night for being oh. trans, but um, yeah, not being able to like yeah. represent yourself, like, yeah, fully. and just um, young people not fully understanding, not being fully educated. And yeah, the same with any um, different sexual orientation or just in general being yeah. different is not alright. It should be, yeah. definitely should be. Street interview about Pride and Soho in London. Just doing a quick recording on an Instagram and see uh, if you would like. We could put you on the uh, just a few questions about the London and Soho and Pride today. <laughs> yeah. Do you guys want to do it? I mean, yeah. Whatever. Of course. So, just put this down. Do you, were you enjoying Pride today uh, yeah. in Soho or yeah? Uh, what was it? What was the most enjoyable aspect of it? Like, if there was an event or if there was a particular. Well, it's maybe about my age, but there was a. Story time hour going on. Really yeah, good. So wow. She was there last year. Uh, nice. I mean, if you nice would... to just have like a family area that's quite calm and yeah. fun and. I was told that we uh, they should have like more of a scheduling so that everyone can see the different sort of sections and where to go. Do you know what? They're they more did that better this year than last oh, year. Nice. They did have. They did. Yeah. Nice, oh cool. Nice just walking through Soho. So. Oh nice. And if and if there was a one aspect of Pride that you would like to introduce for next Pride, or like something yeah. Im important you know what? or. I think so. My son's 11 and I think something for that age yeah, between yeah. like, like really child, just one for the little little one. Yeah. Something for like teens that are not, you know, not yeah. Yeah. Like, of course. Like, like, like 10 to 5.
The U.S. State Department, under both Trump and Biden, has said that the Chinese Communist Party is committing genocide against the Uyghur. I just want to remind everyone that the Chinese regime's treatment of the Uyghurs qualifies as genocide according to the UN Genocide Convention. According to the UN, genocide includes killing members of the group, causing serious bodily or mental harm, deliberately inflicting on the group conditions of life calculated to bring about its physical destruction, imposing measures intended to prevent births within the group, and forcibly transferring children of the group to another group with the intent to destroy a group. All this is happening in Xinjiang. So based on the UN Genocide Convention, it's genocide. No, oh, Liz, shit. I've been to work. And I've come back from my, work, my place of work. I've got these clothes printed specially for this event. Do you ever know this is a big trading event? Where they'll be discussing topics like these, various other topics to do with talking about China and UK and China business trade. Business trade and dealings between the UK and China. I'll be holding in this big conference event full of people. This is the sculpture belonging to somebody, yeah. and that's not fair. They're trying to demonstrate their work. rights and yeah, yeah, yeah. people yeah, dying yeah. in camps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. will move, it's fine. Thank you very much. No worries. Have a good day, man. <laughs> See you guys. See you. Have a good day. You too, mate. All right, so I'm using my uh, microphone, microphone, uh, the one connected to my earphones. Uh, we got kicked out of the previous event for, um, I, I suppose it was something to do with uh, putting the, the clothes on the posters, perhaps. All right. After a, um, <clears throat> a long and arduous time in St. James Park and, and uh, other parks in the area, so giving out shows and speaking word, speaking the gospel. I'm back. I'm ready to face the event head on. If it is open, that is. And if I will be permitted access. I'm sorry about the brightness on this. But yeah, we should be good. We should be good indeed. It's a beautiful day outside today. <clears throat> We got the beautiful lanterns. The we need to work with business to grow trade and investment with China, business and government to be working together. You stupid. I got a pizza here. All right.